accounting mechanics. Here are some journal entries that we are going to be making that are basically a matching exercise. So if we paid for supplies purchased on credit last month, last month is when we debited supplies and credited accounts payable. This month we're paying the bill and that is why we're debiting seven accounts payable and we're crediting one cash. So another way to say for paid su for supplies purchased on credit last month is to just say paid the supply bill. Supplies bill. Because that's what we're doing. We're not buying more supplies, we're just paying the bill. And B, when we build customers for services performed, we've done the work so we're going to credit service revenue to increase the revenue. Now it says we build the customer so the customers have not paid us cash so we sent them a bill which is the same thing as an account receivable. So we're going to debit accounts receivable and we're going to credit service revenue. In number C I already know what the credit is to because whenever I see the the verb paid, I know that I'm paying cash. So I'm going to credit cash. And we paid for the current month's rent. So that must be rent expense. So I paid for, I paid the landlord, so debit rent expense, credit cash. Purchase supplies on credit, uh, that's where we bought some supplies. So our supplies, the current asset account is increasing. So I'm going to debit three and I bought them on account, so that's accounts payable, number seven. So notice that D is what we did in A last month, <laughs> and in A we paid the bill. So D is we're buying more supplies on account, so debit supplies, credit, accounts payable. E, receive cash, so I'm going to debit cash because cash is going up, for services performed but not yet billed. So in other words, we did the work and we haven't yet recognized the revenue, so we need to recognize not only the cash we received from the customers, but that we did some services for them. And that's what E is. Another way to say E is it's a cash sale. A cash sale is where we debit cash and credit revenue. F purchased equipment on account. Well we purchased equipment so equipment 5 is increasing and since we bought it on account we used our credit card or accounts payable. So both of uh, the asset and the liability are increasing. G, we received a bill for repairs which must mean that we've uh, used or consumed those repairs so I'm going to debit repairs expense and since I haven't paid the bill yet, but just received it in the mail, it's credit accounts payable. So received a bill for repairs. So it's repairs expense and accounts payable. In H, return part of the equipment purchased in F for a credit. So if I look up at F, that means I'm going to debit 7 and credit 5 because I my accounts payable is going to be decreased as will my equipment because I returned it. And finally an I receive payments from customers previously billed meaning I'm receiving cash on account so that's accounts receivable. So receive uh, payments from customers previously billed or receive cash on account. That means that the customers paid their bills. So that's uh, a quick review of debits and credits and translating English into accounting transactions.